Hi all. Well, the time has come. The time has come to paint my Crocs. This is an old pair of Crocs that I bought about 10 years ago and uh, about six years ago I paint splashed them because they were looking a little bit tatty and now they're even tattier and older. So I'm going to repaint them in acrylic paint and I'll probably splash them again on top but a bit more um, dotty rather than splashy. So um, I'll go through the instructions, uh, do a whole demonstration from start to finish. So I hope you'll stay with me and uh, let's get started. So what we need is some box standard acrylic paints, a brush, obviously. Um, now, before I start painting, uh, I've seen I've seen other people wiping shoes over and handbags with acetone before they start painting in order to get any grease or dirt off or whatever. Now I've got I haven't got any acetone, but I've got nail varnish remover. So <laughs> So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to use some of that and just wipe over the Crocs before we start. Um, let's not be precious about this. Uh, they're old Crocs. So I'll just give these a bit of a uh, wipe over and see if I can just get any of the ingrained dirt and grease out. So I've just finished wiping the Crocs with the nail varnish remover, stroke acetone. And uh, I'm ready to paint. So I've got a mixture of um, fluorescent pink, yellow, red, orange. Nice bright colours. And my idea is to blend the colours together. So I haven't got one particular colour uh, in any part of it. So there'll be bits of red, bits of yellow, orange, hopefully. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know how this is going to turn out. So... I'm just going to start, we'll see how we go on. So I'm more or less near the end of this first one now. So what I'll do, I'll go, I'll go away and paint the second one. And um, I think once they're dry, they're going to need another coat. So I'll do the other crock, let them dry, do the second coat, and then come back to you then when I know how I'm going to decorate them. Just a quickie before I do the second coat. I've just... Um, dried this paint a little bit with the hairdryer and as you can see you can still see the underneath these colors are very translucent and um well i mean acrylic is like that but i thought it might have gone on a little bit thicker than this but it hasn't so what i'm going to do i'm going to put a little bit of white with the paint and also the yellow hasn't really shown up at all i have been blending the colours but it sort of looks an all over colour. There's a little bit there where you can see the difference in the orange. So I'm going to try and um, maybe highlight the different shades a little bit more. I'll put some green with the yellow as well to uh, see if that makes any difference. But not a marvellous result for the first coat. I will be going slightly underneath the soles as well as I go on obviously. Uh, I can't just leave it like that. I will sort of uh, tidy it all up towards the end. But uh, So I'm just going to go do the second coat now and um, I shall be back when that is all dried to see where we go from there. Okay, I've got a much better co coverage this time. Uh, the yellow showing a little bit more and you can see the differentiation in the colours. It's quite thick in parts and um, I mean it's not it's not marvellous, it's not 100% but it's much better. The first coat was very very thin so now I'm going to start splashing. <laughs> this is the this is the fun part. Now I've got some different colours this time. I've got my red and orange, but I've 
added some white to the orange and some white to the yellow and I've got two shades of sorry got two shades of bluey green and some black and um, I've also taken my dress off I've put my scraggy painting t-shirts on for this bit and um, so what I'm going to do I'm not going to cover anything or tape anything I'm just going to do it as it comes and just see what happens the paint has to be fairly thin to do this with and sometimes you get absolutely massive globs and you don't want them but you know it's random that's the, that's what it is that's what it's about so you get what you get so here goes So I've done some splashing and you may have noticed there, even though it's speeded up, that um, I got some drips with the black. The black paint was a little bit too thin. So what I've done, I've just painted over in the pink again. There's a little bit on here as well. Um, so I, I do need to do some more splashing. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to dry these again and just put more even splashes on. And then I'm not trying to do them for the camera. And I've decided I'm going to put more colour on as well. I think they're a little bit dowdy. Maybe some brighter green and some white and some other colours. So what I'll do, I'll just pause it for now and come back to you when I've finished splashing completely. Ha ha, well, it's all gone a little bit crazy. I started off with, <laughs> I started off with splashes and I ended up with flicks. And um, they're pretty well covered, including the insides. I think I'm going to do something with these little button things at the end. Um, now, the ones on this side are worn anyway, on the outside. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I'll probably paint those silver or something. Now, I feel that these may scratch a bit in wear. I'm not sure whether the acrylic's going to stay on. So I'm going to, when they're completely dry, because I do need to give them a couple of hours now, when they're completely dry, I'm going to give them a coat of Mod Podge. There's a little bit of a, that needs going over. Uh, a coat of Mod Podge, or at least one coat of Mod Podge, but I'm not using ordinary Mod Podge. I'm using Extreme Glitter Mod Podge. <laughs> as you do, as it's me. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll come back later um, with, with them completely finished on my feet, and you know you might think they're completely too far too bonkers, but oh look, I've got I've got I've got hey, look at the look at the cells. <laughs> oh well, you know it's all good fun, isn't it? And you know we're learning as we go along. I've never done, I've never actually painted a croc completely all over before. I mean, I've, as I say, I've splashed these before, but uh, yeah, it's been good fun. And um, once they're all glitter glitterified. I'll come back and model them. Well, all in all, I think these have turned out quite well after quite a shaky start. I don't know if you can see the shine on them, but uh, I've put two coats of Mod Podge Extreme Glitter on them. And I've also put some copper metal leaf on the buttons. And... Um, I'm really quite pleased with how they've turned out. They certainly look miles, miles better than they were before. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm happy with those. Um, if you're still with me and um, you've enjoyed this content, I would really, really love it if you could subscribe to my channel. I've been on here quite a while and I don't have many subscribers. And don't forget to uh, hit that bell for updates. I will be putting lots more videos on now. I think next time I'll do a video that's a little less complicated. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.